Oh my. Okay, so right now I'm like back in Hong Kong and I'm having dinner. Oh my god, I'm tired and it's really, really hot because I think the AC down here in this place is like busted. But anyway, I'm here. I'll probably do like HK Part 2, whatever, because like I only did mean a huge part one. That's because it was all before Thailand. And I'll try to do what I guess. Like, no promises. I'll. Alright, I have like 4 days left in HK, so I'm going to try to make the best out of it. So far, right now, I am planning on having lunch at this restaurant. Hold on. Called Kitchen One Cafe. I've been there before. It's pretty good though, and I can't wait to try out some of the food because like they sell like a lot of... Well, how do I say this? HK Cafe food. And basically, it's basically about westernized food like pasta and sometimes like omelets with some Chinese food like omelet with rice that's the best way I can explain it though but I'm going to be exploring some parts of Hong Kong as well stick around okay this is going to be a big problem they have so much stuff to choose from that you don't even know what to choose and this is just the first <coughs> side of it Here's the back side. Not to mention, you can also order a drink and soup as well with it. This place is really amazing and it's pretty famous in that one. Oh, right. Okay, so this is my irresistible, delicious, beautiful, mouth watering pasta dish that I've ordered with the egg yolk down from the top like lava oh my god this is so good i can't god to eat okay that was my lunch oh i'm i'm still kind of hungry surprisingly but i think i want to eat a crepe or cream puff later but anyway right now i'm just doing some shopping and which is pretty convenient since i'm in a place called newtown and this place you can actually buy really cool stuff around here so let's see So this would be something like what Newtown would have. It's pretty convenient and upstairs they would have like things like cute photoshops and also cool anime stuff as well. I just got off the NPR and right now I'm at Landlord Street. So far um, it's a shopping mall that's connected to a subway which you don't have to walk outside and basically I'm pretty thirsty, so I just walked in and got this Japanese legendary tea, green tea version. And let's see what. It's like. Anyway, bottoms up. Hmm, not that bad actually. Pretty soon I'll be heading to Argyle Street where I can do some shopping. Anyway, let's see what it's like. So right now I'm at Argyle Street inside a shopping mall. It's similar to the one that was this early afternoon, but it seems a lot smaller. Like the escalator, one step can fit one person, but they do have some pretty great stuff as well, like cheap clothing and some cool gadgets that I'm looking at. So right now I'm at Argyle Street inside a shopping mall. It's similar to the one that was this early afternoon, but it seems a lot smaller. Like the escalator, one step can fit one person, but they do have some pretty great stuff as well, like cheap clothing and some cool gadgets that I'm looking around. Um, this is the street market and Argo Street, Long Kong Kong Kong, and they have so many cool stalls and vendors that you can check out. There's like a thousand of, of them. This is one of them, but there is another one, but I'm kind of tired and too lazy to go there. So let's check it out. Go ahead, okay? Huh? I don't know. I want to see what there is. 
Okay, so right now I'm having lunch at Suman Plaza and basically I'm eating in a place called Dolce do Bondori. I don't know how on earth you pronounce this, but this restaurant is pretty interesting because like instead of like an actual restaurant, like you actually have to cook it. Check it out. This thing is the giant hot plate where I have to cook it. This is the spatula and conveniently there's a timer as well. Also, um, you do, do get a set of menus that you choose and they give you instructions on how to cook it and how long you have to leave it on the frying pan. So I can't wait to try this out. Did I mention that this thing is also already on? Watch. Yep, it's definitely running. Okay, so at this point, we also reflip this again. Like so. And then at this point, you got like, I think some herbs, soy sauce, and mayo maize in which you pour onto while you cook it. But it's after we put on the egg yolks as well.
we start adding the eggs. Oh, and coincident and conveniently, the timer just like went off. So we take this thing and put it on top of the egg. So this is it, my okonomiyaki. Well, okonomiyaki with noodles. Whoa, check out the steam. So, let's see how it turns out though, since I had okonomiyaki before, but never with noodles. Mm. Okay, this is the second part I've ordered. I forgot to mention, every time you make an order, they give you these really cute instructions on how to do it, plus a QR code to send you to the YouTube as well, if you can't either read Chinese, which I'm totally clueless. Anyway, so. We just basically clear off the pan and then like start doing almost a similar thing. But instead of like that salad roll, it's going to be like a uh, watery, flowery. At this part right now, we're basically putting this mixture batter pancake thing in to the stove and let it cook up. Next, we have this bowl of spices that we add into the batter. I have no idea what this is, but judging from what I'm looking at it, it's probably- Okay, so far, I just added- we just added this giant more stuff, such as cabbages and I think slices of meat, not sure what it is. And then and this is going to get flipped over, again. Watch. Okay, just be um just be um clear. Like it's okay if it, if it completely fails because this thing is so huge that's too hard to flip over. And right now we're basically cooking udon noodles with soy sauce or okonomiyaki sauce. I'm not sure. I have no idea what's in this vial anyway. In this bottle anyway, but it does look like okonomiyaki sauce, so I'm just gonna go with that. This is what it will look like. Just think of it as like one enormous circular sandwich with noodles in the middle. So this is the second onmakiyaki. It's a little bit similar to the first one, but first one didn't have like the pancake batter. So that was my lunch. Okonomiyaki, self-cooking it. Very, very cool. 
very awesome and definitely wish they would have this in Canada as well. Anyway, let's see what else is up. So right now I'm having dinner at a really cool place and this place is where I'm eating a bunch of steam dishes. So basically right now there's a giant metal plate. Before from every meal starts, they give you this nice bowl of soup. Careful, the lid is really hot. I have some difficulties trying to take it out, but it's a pretty good soup with like I think some meat and and this is where things starts to fire up. You got this controller in which basically the steam is basically getting out and just looking out for it, watching the steam. This is where the magic happens, I guess. This huge glass thing is something with this thing is like every time you come to this kind of restaurant, there's a timer on it and just check out how it's been elapsing. It's already turning red, the lobster gloss. Normally when you come to this restaurant, it's a good idea to order a set. So basically this is like my set. I have no idea what's in each and in these, but it's part of what So that was dinner tonight. There were several other dishes, yeah, but I know I should have taken record, but that'll be just too hard to explain and too long to explain as well. Not to mention that was supposed to be a part like what this is about and what it does. It's pretty good. You get full pretty easy, to be honest, even if the portions are small. And right now, there's still room for dessert as well. But for that, like that, they're really, really, really... Okay. So far, this concludes my trip to Hong Kong. It's been a really, really cool and great experience there. I mean, there was so much stuff. Well, I pretty much didn't do it because I just want to relax and have fun my own way and take it as it goes. But there was so many cool stuff that, like, we could probably take from. Like, instead of, like, having actual elevator buttons, let's just, like, have elevator buttons into, like, tablet form. Or even, like, having sea salt ice cream as well, like, back in Kingdom Hearts. Damn, I'm gonna really miss that. And also, to the point where, like, it's pretty convenient, like, MTR is so convenient, the subway station, in which you can even use Wi-Fi there as well. Like, Wi-Fi while you're writing, so then, like, you don't have to, like, be bored all the time and listen to the exact same music that you have on your phone on the subway. Yeah, there's some stuff I'm gonna miss about HK, though. Like, the shopping, like... Do you know I bought another dragon shirt yesterday, even though it's at Hong Kong, which I wasn't exactly looking for. It was still good enough anyway. And I'm also missing, like, the convenience as well. Like, for example, the octopus card that everyone uses, you can also use it to, like, do your shopping as well. So, like, let's say you want to go get a slushie, and instead of, you like, taking out your wallet to get the cash, just, or using your credit card because you don't want to pay off the credit card bill, um, just use the Octopus card to pay for it. And that is really convenient. It's been a really awesome trip. So right now, I'm going to head back to Canada and see what's up. But the one thing I'm definitely going to do back in Canada is, like, I'm definitely going to try to make sea salt ice cream. I was looking for the recipe, though, and I really want to try it. So let's see how it goes. I'll definitely try to do a vlog about that.